All right, boys and girls, we're gonna take out our math book and we are going to turn to page 24 and start lesson four. Today, we are going to add numbers in any order and the sum or answer is going to be the same. So for our first example, we have five plus two equals seven. So let's show that. One, two, three, four, five plus one, two equals seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, it says two plus five equals what? So I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to switch them. Now I have two plus five. Two, one, two, plus five more. Three, four, five, six, seven equals seven. So here we have the five plus two equals seven. Then we just switch it and have two plus five and it still equals the same seven. So two plus five equals seven. The numbers being added are the same. The order does not matter. Are you ready? Wait, go. <laughs> example two. For example two, we're gonna be adding three numbers. So we're gonna do two plus three plus four, and we're going to solve that. So let's use our counters. Remember at home, you can use anything. Cheerios, M&Ms, Legos, whatever you can find. So the first way we're gonna do it is we're gonna start with our two and our three. So two, one, two, plus three, one, two, three, equals one, two, three, four, five. So we have our five. Then we're gonna add on our third number. So we have four to add on. So one, two, three, four, five, plus four is six, seven, eight, nine. Another way we could do this is start with our three and add our four. So let's add those together first. Three plus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna start with our seven and then add that first number we still have, two more. So seven, eight, nine. We still got that same number of nine. The numbers are grouped in different ways but equal the same thing. The sum or answer of the three numbers is the same. So two plus three plus four equals nine. All right, boys and girls, for example three, we're not going to be using counters. We're gonna look at our numbers and bring them together. So we have four plus two plus eight equals what? So one way is to add the first two numbers like we did earlier. So I have four and I have two. I wanna put them together. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus my eight is gonna be added together. So let's count on. I have six, I wanna count eight more. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I added eight more to get 14. Six plus eight equals 14. Another way I could do it is to start with my two and my eight. So I'm gonna add two and I'm gonna add eight more. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten when I do two plus eight. Now I want to do the four that I still had plus ten. So if I do four and count on ten more, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Adding the last two numbers makes a 10. 
Then I added the first number, the four. So four plus 10 was 14. The numbers are grouped in different ways, but the sum or answer of the three numbers is the same. So four plus two plus eight equals 14. All right, so next you're going to do this challenge page where you're going to practice what we just learned from Ms. Tucker. And after that, you're going to turn the page and do the rest of the practice problems on your own. And if you are confused, please pause your video, go back to the beginning. That way you can listen to those examples again to help you with these practice problems. You're gonna stop at the little frog and that means you're done with today's lesson. Check back tomorrow for lesson five.